Hello everyone, welcome KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. I wanted to share something with you just for a second because I post this a lot of times on Facebook and a lot of people say, what is that that you're posting? What does that mean? And we're going to go back here to this website. The link is in the description. And this is run by Mountain Lake Schools or Mountain Lake Public Schools. This is an a VHF propagation reporter. Now, I want to explain something to you for a second, because this isn't your average person making videos on QRZ.com that's suggesting that the sunspots are going to align with different planets to give you propagation on HF. What this is, is a physical proof. This is evidence right here that there is VHF two meter propagation in the areas that are indicated red or orange or yellow. Now I'm going to explain this to you real quick because the people have asked. And this, I could tell you for a fact, this website and this service right here is legitimate. This is not snake oil. What this is doing is detecting VHF 2 meter APRS packets, automatic packet reporting system. It is detecting that there is a packet that was sent by, say, K4 PK, PKT-3 and received up here in South Carolina, Georgia area. And it says, hey, wait a second. That packet came from Florida. I received it up here on my Digipeter in Carolina. There must be propagation. So this is actual physical transmitted proof that there is Con, uh, you know, tropospheric ducting on VHF two meters from Florida to Georgia, South Carolina, maybe the very bottom end of North Carolina. Okay, now sometimes you'll see this map, and it will be all over the place. You'll see propagation in different states. You know, Minnesota and Michigan going to Ohio, and at the same time in Florida, that is real physical proof that an APRS packet on two meter VHF radio, ham radio, was received hundreds of miles away on a digipeter that is being monitored by this school system that happens to provide this quality service for us. So let me give you an example. Last week on Tuesday, that would be, what, September 16th, 2019? I was driving on 95, and I can't see here. I was somewhere around Daytona, somewhere around here at 12 o'clock a.m. driving home from work. I was talking on VHF Simplex, 146.52 megahertz, and I was talking to a guy up in Georgia for a good half hour. I want to say he was in Statesboro, maybe Savannah. I don't remember, but he was up here in Georgia somewhere. And we were talking on Simplex for a half hour. So, again, from Daytona area to Georgia, what is that, two, 300 miles away? We were talking for a half hour. And he heard all kinds of people over here in Panama City, Pensacola, Tallahassee. It was open. That's what they call the band is open. There are band conditions. The band is propagating. There is tropospheric ducting. There is atmospheric conditions, whatever you want to call it. It was happening up here to Georgia. Now, I've done this before. I've actually worked from VHF, you know, on VHF from Florida up here to Carolinas and Virginia on sideband. This is FM right here. Now, you keep saying, looking at it saying, wait, Florida is the only propagation happening right now? This is real time. What you're looking at in this video is right now. I'm sh this is uh, 8.21 p.m. on September 23rd, and this is what you're seeing right here, Okay. This is happening right now, and it seems to be happening quite frequently every night. So it's safe to assume that if you're in this area, and you see how it just changed? There was, okay, there it goes. So you can highlight over here and see the different reporting stations, but it's safe to assume that if you live right here about where I live, right where my mouse is, that there are conditions possible all the way up here to Raleigh, North Carolina, okay? And that's physical proof that an APRS digital packet was received up there from Florida and the one in Florida was received from up here. You see how this is going? Look, this one up here was transmitted down here to Florida and this one down here was transmitted to North Carolina. There is 
propagation on VHF. I don't know how I could express this so much. And you may be thinking, well, big deal. I want to talk to the world in Denmark on UHF and Australia on HF. Okay, fine. But there are conditions with your Bofung or your 50 watt ICOM that you have at your house, your 20 foot, you know, vertical, 20 foot in the air. It's possible you could talk to other states on two meters, 146.520. That's pretty fun. I got to say, I'm excited when I see this because there's just a whole nother world when you're talking to some guy on VHF and he's like, yeah, where are you at again? Oh, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Really? And now let me further this, okay? When I was here in Daytona, somewhere right around here where my finger is on the map, and I was talking to that guy in Georgia, we went to D-Star. We went to Digital on Simplex, and we continued our conversation on D-Star. That was pretty fun. It was 1230 in the morning, and I was talking to some guy in Georgia on D-Star without a repeater, without a reflector, without a hotspot, just radio to radio. My 50 watts and his 50 watts were happening right here. So I want you to go to the website in the description. And if, you know, I can't find much information. Every time I see this in a Google search, I click on it, it takes me to the map. There's an organization that's doing this out of their pocket. And I hope that if you find chasing VHF conditions, you know, exciting, throw them a buck or two. I mean, Give them the donation. Don't give me the dollar. Give them the dollar and help them because we need this information. They're monitoring all these different, you know, and if you go like this, look. So there's all kinds of little things here. What I've noticed is that this yellow here doesn't seem as producive or as, what's the word I'm looking for, as rewarding or productive as the red that you see over here, you know. There's always yellow and orange, but for some reason, when it's red like this, that's saying, hey, we're receiving APRS packets from Florida to Carolina, and it's happening over and over and over again. Maybe it's a strong signal, and the station or the system that's monitoring this is bringing it to us free of charge. So if you're a part of this system and you're watching this video, please contact me because I want to know more about it. I'm, I don't know any of the people that are involved in this. I would love to know more. So please contact me. If you know somebody, tell them, hey, Eric made a video. He wants to know more. I want to hear from this organization because this actually works, man. This is actually something that's happening. So you could take your HF, you know, oh, there's a sunspot and there's a meteorite and the planet's aligned. We may get a contact on HF. You could take that and kind of put it aside for a second because this is physical proof. And sometimes it happens again in, you know, Minneapolis, Chicago, over here in California. I've seen this happen before where California was stretched all the way over here to Missouri. Could you imagine talking halfway across the United States of America on VHF two meters on FM with your 50 watt radio and a 6 dB vertical? It can happen. So check out this link in the description, send them an email, do something, tell them I want to know more about it. And look at this every night. If you see this happening in your area, post it on my Facebook page. If you're on Facebook and you're like, wow, Eric, I've seen you posting this every night. I had no idea what this meant. Well, give me a comment. And let me know that it helped you. But if you're in this red area, I, I need a bunch of you viewers, if you're in a red area, to try to make a contact, and I want you to tell me it works. Get on the comments and say, you know what? I was in that red area up here in Texas across the Gulf to Florida. It worked. It made, I made a contact. The band was open. The more people we get on this band, the more people that are interested and informed, uh, informed about this are going to get on VHF fm or sideband this happens for sideband this happens for two meter cw this happens for two meter am this happens for two meter ft8 js8 call ridi psk olivia contestia you can do it all on two meters and if you're in this red area or maybe even an orange area the chances are possible but it can happen so seven three thanks for the video or the 
time to watch this video just out of the blue thinking, you know what? All these people comment and say, what is this? Here it is. I want you to understand this is propagation. I hope that it happens in your area. And you can check out and make some contacts on two meters with your Chinese rig or your any tone or whatever. Make contacts on two meters on VHF and then tell your buddy and Elmer him, hey, VHF isn't only for repeaters. It's not only to talk to your buddy at a ham club meeting on Simplex. It's for talking some good distances. 73 KJ4YZI.